Well, Terry, archery is something which has been uh, around for many, many years. Why does it still keep going in this modern world? I think, in fact, it's actually a lot more popular now than what it was 10 years ago. We started coming to the Game Fair in 2000, and it's just it's gained in popularity. So many clubs lead on from here with more members, all, all brought out of Have A Go Archery. That's amazing, isn't it? Yes. Well, I think what, it, what we bring to the Game Fair is that um, a lot of Game Fairs do not have anything for children. This could, You can be seven or you can be 70 for field archery. There is no age limit, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, just to tell us what uh, the difference is uh, between target and well, uh, field archery. There are different forms, aren't there? Uh, field archery, yes. You, you can actually shoot. Uh, you're always following a mark course in woodland, which is the good thing about it. Um, uh, you can shoot at paper faces, which are just pictures of animals. Or like our club, we have both. We have a course set out of paper faces for practice, and we put three open shoots out a year. Many field clubs put out a lot more, some put less. But what we do on them open shoots, we'll put... Um, life-size foam 3D animals out, which, which is much more reali realistic, hence the simulated hunting, which is what, what field archery is, as opposed to target archery, where target archery, as most of us will know, um, my interpretation of archery 10 years ago was they do that in the Olympics, but not so. That's round targets at fixed distances. This is much more fun. All the family, you can take the day out for a family. It's not an expensive sport to start up in. It's just great fun. Yes, it is quite cheap, and I think you even do your own um, arrows, don't you? We make our own arrows. Uh, lots of guys uh, make their own bows even nowadays. Within the field archery movement, there's actually a new class as of a couple of years ago, which is a primitive, and it's based on a bow uh, of at least 500-year-old design. If you can make a bow out of a, a bit of ivy in the woods, and it's based on a design at least 500 years old, you can go and shoot it the next day. It's, it's, a, it's a sport as well, which you can do at any time. The weather really isn't that... Uh, it doesn't really depend on weather too much, does it? I think, like a lot, like a lot of sports, there are fair-weather archers, but most, most field archers are hardy, and it's just that's what, that's what people like about it. There's, there's as much fun had in the winter shooting as there is the summer. It's just a bonus in the summer if you can get your shorts out and, and get a bit of sun on your back. But, uh... <laughs> what is it about the, the, the sport compared to any other kind of shooting sport, if you like? It's a test of judgment. Um, you can shoot a traditional bow like I shoot myself, or you can shoot the wheels and cams, which is uh, based on sights. Um, it, I shoot very instinctively, so I have to. You, it's a, a judge of distance, basically. Um, whereas other, different types of art, different forms of archery, you have a fixed distance. You know what that distance is. You put in lots of practice. You know you you know what you're aiming at at what distance. The field archery is. Um, that's the glory of it. You can be shooting a little, a little woodchuck at five yards. You can turn the corner and be shooting an elephant at 70 yards over a valley. It is just a test of judgment, the distance, really. What about uh, licensing and requirements? Um, well, as we speak, there is no licensing for bows. Uh, and, what, and what we found is we get a lot of gun shooters because the, the laws have tightened up so much on gun shooting. We're getting a lot of gun shooters that are diversifying to bows whether it's because of the, legal, the lack of legal requirement now, but uh, they turn to it and love it. And, and th this game fair um, for this year will produce a lot of archers that are gun shooters themselves. Do you get a lot of people, do you, to come and have a go? And are there a lot of them first-timers, do you think? I think you'll probably find 90% of them are first-timers, which is why that makes it much more fun. Um, my claim is the first question most parents ask is, is there an age limit for this? And you say, no. If they can hold the bow, or we can hold the bow for them and help them, then they can shoot. And I've actually, I've actually, um, we had a young girl about 18 months old that had a go a couple of years ago. So there really is no age limit. So, <laughs> well, she went away a happy little girl because she hit something as well. So. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Well, Jerry, uh, good luck with the ibex and uh, field uh, archery. Uh, it's a popular area here at the show. I know that. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here.